Let me point out, uh, I speak, I, I get people to write for me, um, and one of the jokes that we have here is I don't use what they say. And I've, I've urged that they, that they give me bullet points. Mm -hmm. And I have my notes in front of me, and I have mm -hmm. 10 keywords, and if I know what I'm going to say, I don't, I don't have to depend on the script. I, I, and yes, my grammar might not be as perfect as having thought, having thought it out and written it three or four times. Mm -hmm. But to me, um, there's, no, there's no excuse, if you will, well, there's an excuse perhaps, but there's no reason not to prep, not to not just rehearse, mm -hmm. not to repeat. If you've got to deal with someone else's words, or you want to work from a prepared text, mm -hmm. It's yours to your advantage to, to, to read it over and over. And, and, I, and there are sometimes if I have a six o'clock mm -hmm. set of remarks at the McGavick Center between 5.30 and 6, I'm prancing around this room mm -hmm. reading and speaking. I will, mm -hmm. I will rehearse. There's nobody here. I speak out loud. I don't rehearse. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. and when I do that, there's, there's one sure thing about it. I'm not confident. Mm -hmm. and I, I, can, mm -hmm. I can tell you I'm, I'm not confident when I feel like I've got to rehearse for Rehearse, mm -hmm. and I understand the value of it, mm -hmm. but I also know your back's against the wall. You've got to present in front of a hundred people. You've got to do it right, do the best you can. Mm -hmm. So I am. Um, um, I try to stay away from. I, it's funny. I'm reaching my pocket here. This is this is my notes from yesterday's speech. Mm -hmm. I wrote phrases, mm -hmm. five or six phrases. I spoke mm -hmm. for twenty minutes, and um, mm -hmm. and I didn't need anything more than a physical plan. And I talked about the physical plan with confidence. And that was the difference between me having somebody give me the words, but don't forget the, the such and such billing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sure, I could, I could possibly miss that, but I gave, I did fair, very fair treatment to that topic. And um, that confidence level, I think, also offers the level of legitimacy back to your original question mm -hmm. as to, I know what I'm talking about, or I'm, I'm being honest and truthful, I, I can... I can say that the confidence look you in the eye as opposed mm -hmm. to looking all around and saying it right. Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily sincere. Yes, I, I, I think, uh, um, and that, and the possibility exists when you mm -hmm. practice not at all and somebody hands you a script mm -hmm. and you read the script, the, the audience is going to get what, mm -hmm. I mean, they're gonna, not going to get as much as they paid for it, if you will, where I think mm -hmm. uh, this lack of sincerity is there, you lose your emphasis, you don't, Body language, because you're just reading, you, mm -hmm. you don't emphasize with your voice. Yes, you can. And maybe skilled public speakers, far more skilled mm -hmm. than me, can do that. But I, mm -hmm. I have a tough time just reading. And I understand there are times when I don't have any choice uh, mm -hmm. to do it other than to do that. What uh, What would you say was the best speech you ever gave? You know, it's funny. I, I just read that on your note. I um, I do have one. I was in New Mexico, and um, we had a, uh, uh, a student leadership uh, initiative at the college, and um, the uh, and it the, the speech evolved over a relatively short period of time, yeah. but I uh, I talked about leadership, and I mentioned mm. what is, what does Oprah Winfrey. Paul, what is Oprah Winfrey and Paul Newman and uh, I had six or six, uh, Betty Ford what do they have in common and the people were thinking well athlete actor spouse of a president and and I went about talking about why I respected them appreciated them what I thought was valuable about the contributions they made mm -hmm. and that was taking taking something on and demonstrating a level of what I call leadership mm -hmm. but just taking on a cause mm -hmm. and I talked about them being heroes to people and Oprah Winfrey's got this special way of uh, depicting that and I took it to the level I said you're not those people you're not those high profile people you don't have the visibility you're not going to have the access but you can be a hero mm -hmm. 